another shot of the bullet Load it got complex, cocking and pulling That bottleneck look like the Loch Ness What are we doing? I'm about to fall out, boy In a proofs in the pudding Let's get into the news now First of all, Shane Waldron has or is being hired by the Chicago Bears uh, Waldron, 44, spent the past three seasons as Seattle's offensive coordinator. Now he's expected to land in Chicago, which owns the number one pick with a big question looming at quarterback. And you might be asking yourself uh, at this point, what is that uh, What is that uh, question? Well, the question is Caleb Williams or Justin Fields. And if you are a big fan of Justin Fields, then you have reason to be nervous, but you also have reason to be hopeful the reason for that is Shane Waldron did wonders with both Russell Wilson and Geno Smith, reviving Geno Smith's career, giving them an opportunity to improve upon their team and their offense by virtue of being something of a quarterback whisperer. So uh, that should be or would have reason to be for almost anybody to be super exciting. However, this is Chicago and this is the way we do uh, nothing in Chicago is ever easy. So where are we at with it? Well, where we're at right now is that everybody has already started to complain, uh, say that, you know, this is a symbol or a sign that Caleb Williams is coming. In fact, it's starting so quickly that, I mean, the moment it happened, you had Hayden Winks come out saying Caleb Williams is working with QB Collective for training. New Bears OC Shane Waldron is a QB Collective guy. You do the math here. Now, uh, that sounds like an ominous sort of sign if you are a fan of Justin Fields. However, uh, let's consider this. The quarterback collective is basically a rotation of offensive-minded people and offensive-minded. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's not the same people every single year. Uh, <clears throat> this collective rotates every single year. So the fact that Shane Waldron happens to be there shouldn't be a symbol or a tell of anything. Now, the reason that it shouldn't be a tell is we all see the tape. We all see who Caleb Williams is. We all see what what he brings to the table. We all see the tape. We all see the games. We all see what Justin Fields brings to the table. And you can make an argument that uh, in, in some context, in some ways, that perhaps some people are going to like what they see from Caleb Williams better than they see from Justin Fields. It doesn't mean Shane Waldron is the same way. It doesn't mean that when we get to the scouting combine, when we get to the the, the interviews, when we get to the, the, the real check down here from the Chicago Bears, who they're interviewing for that number one pick or whether they're going to make that number one pick, uh, they're going to perform their due diligence and then they're going to make that decision. Everything that we do right now is pure speculation. We have no idea. Nobody here knows what's going to happen with this selection. We're just guessing about uh, what we think is going to happen, right? So if you like the content, guys, make sure that you hit the like button on the way in. Certainly helps push me up in the algorithm. And uh, to keep it going right now, uh, Fansite has already come out with an article that says, uh, Bears next OC hire shouldn't be good news for Justin Field. Um, the Chicago Bears are working towards a deal with Seahawks play caller Shane Waldron as their next offensive coordinator. This shouldn't be good news for Justin Fields. The reason that they're giving. Uh, at the very least, Fields has not proven to be a franchise caliber passer, and another change at offensive coordinator won't do him any good. Learning a new system, the third time Fields has done so since his entry into the NFL, if you count his rookie transition from Ohio State, will only make matters more um, um, more complicated. This is absolute insanity. First of all, guys, look, it should be noted, and everybody here should at least have the wisdom to say, well, if if Shane Waldron comes in, doesn't that just mean that, um, ju uh, that, that, that Caleb Williams would have to learn a new offense too? Are we not seeing that? So what we're trying to do when we do this, when we when we make these silly kind of comments, is that Justin Fields, for some reason, is less capable of learning a new offense than Caleb Williams might be of learning the new offense. That the experience that Justin Fields has in the NFL doing whatever it is that Justin Fields do uh, is not going to be sufficient to help him along in this process. And that is just silly nonsense. Now, that doesn't mean that it's not true doesn't mean that it's not true. However, uh, head coach Matt Eberflus, and by the way, this was at the press conference, I think, last week. 
Uh, obviously, you want to have somebody that's a great teacher. Uh, head coach Matt, Matt Eberflus outlined he was looking for a new offensive coordinator, wanted to find a teacher, and Waldron can be just that for the right student who could be Williams or it could be Justin Fields. Uh, we really don't know. Obviously, you want somebody that's a great teacher. I think it's important because you know he has to coach the coaches uh, to coach the position. And I think that the number one trait of any great coach, you have to be able to have the innovation to really look at players that you have and be able to help enhance and put those guys in positions to succeed and to get explosives uh, and to move the ball down the field. So that right there, I think, is the most important thing, the teacher part of it, and then the innovation part of it. And the creativity, I think, that goes into it as the biggest part. Now, um, this applies to everything and everybody. Um, there's nothing special here about this hire that's a telling signal. I just want to preface everything with that. We're, this is not saying that 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 Justin Fields is gone or that he's staying. This is just a move by the team. 